what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to a new game that we're going to be playing today we're going to be playing some empires of sin empire of sin is a new strategy game that's developed by romero games and paradox interactive this game puts you into the 1920s prohibition era in chicago where we'll be controlling one of the one of the many iconic uh underworld bosses during that era for this playthrough, we're going to be playing as Daniel McKee Jackson. Now, Daniel was one of the most powerful African Americans during this era, and we're choosing him. He has a boss ability that's last rights, where pretty much he takes his secondary weapon and unloads a full clip into a target. If the target dies before the clip is finished, he automatically targets another one and kills them. And then the ability goes on cooldown. Daniel's empire bonus is going to be for brothels and casinos and casino seems right because he was famous for his gambling uh, businesses that he ran through his funeral parlor during his time his diplomatic bonus is going to be founding father where pretty much the threat generation with large empires is minus 25 percent so let's go ahead and get this started what we're going to do for the new game, we're going to keep it at 10 neighborhoods, but we're going to increase the amount of enemy factions that we have. And we're also going to bump the difficulty up all the way to boss. All right, so let's go ahead and start this game. Good evening, Daniel. Mayor Thompson, I'm surprised to see you at the Dunbar Club. It's Bill to my friends. So, what should I call you then? It's not clear right now, Mayor Thompson. Come on, Daniel, don't be like that. I wanted to come by in person to say I was sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. He did his best, supporting his family and community as long as he could. You think he would have given free funeral services to every other family in the second ward? It's my parlor, my business. It's what he would have wanted. It's a family trade. Doesn't sound like business at all. Not one that lasts long anyway. It's a loan. How would it be if we weren't able to bury our father when the time came? People need this. Like they need your hooch and whores and illegal policy records? Of course, I don't know any of that. It's as savory as your business, Mr. Mayor. I think I'm the more honest of the two of us. I'm going to be honest with you now. Jackson the businessman is smarter than Jackson the humanitarian. I'd like to speak to him, please. I'll check if he's in. What's your request? I have some issues in my administration at the moment. There's an opportunist, Mr. Jerry Johnson, who doesn't share my vision for the city. He's threatening to go to the papers. I'd like you to stop him before he impacts my re-election campaign. Just scare him. Nothing too extreme. I know Jerry. I let him borrow some money to pay for his kids' medical bills. Good. Then you've got leverage. Leveraging a sick kid? Come on, Bill. I'm not a monster. I'm not saying threaten him or anything. It's just good to have in your back pocket. You get me? How much can the city spare for this important work? I thought you had the interests of the community at heart. Aren't I the community? You are when it suits you, coming in here looking for my help. I'll give you... How generous. Bet it on the wheel. You might get lucky. Will might be more generous than you when it comes to giving me what I want. Is this about me endorsing you as committeeman for the second ward? Daniel the humanitarian, sure, but Daniel the businessman. Be 
careful which one you decide to deal with, Mayor Thompson. Give it time, Daniel. With the election, we need discretion. Fine. I'll take care of your opportunist. Hand over the cash. You help me, I help you. That's the deal. Call me when it's done. You can trust me, Daniel. Now, is there a back door out of here? Sure. Let me show you out. All right, everyone. So now we have Daniel out on the streets of Chicago, and we currently have two missions here we have uh do your part and brick by brick so brick by brick they'll give us five notoriety and a hundred dollars in cash if we hold five rackets and we also have do your part where we have to go and talk with jerry and get him to not go to the papers so also there is the gangsters tab that we have here where we can see all of daniel's notoriety and everything that he has um and there's also the gangster oh, 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 there we go there's this is the the black book as um he said uh playing on the boss difficulty we went ahead and kind of skipped through the tutorial here so we have these two characters under our control and what I'm going to do right off the bat, you can see that each of these characters, they have people who they like and people who they dislike and people who they're also in love with. So she she's in love with Bruno and Bruno doesn't like this guy and this guy doesn't like Bruno. So if we were to ever get Bruno on our side, it'll be a problem because he wouldn't join because we already have someone that he doesn't like. Um, hired as one of our members so there's different classes for each of these people on the blacklist we have the enforcers we have the hired guns we have the demolitionists and we also have medics uh, medics and we have uh, con artists so every one of these characters can actually do something different also on the tree we have people that we can promote to different ranks in our hierarchy pretty much so we're the boss we currently have made gangsters because they've gotten kills and as they as we grow with them we can promote them to either advisors or either to lieutenants but we need to get some more notoriety to be able to do that so let's exit out of this we also have the black market where we can purchase weapons or we can sell any weapons that we currently have we're currently losing 419 dollars a week we have our alcohol inventory here we're gaining plus eight alcohol and if we go over here no ah, nope. we'll skip there we go we have two we have a brewery and we also have our safe house our safe house goes ahead and it produces alcohol for us currently it is now getting 10 times barrel we're getting eight well actually we have 10 inside of storage we're making two from our safe house and making eight from the brewery we can also click on the brewery you can see we can upgrade different things in here to just kind of keep stuff up i'm going to hold off on doing this for the time being and we're going to try to complete some of these missions we can zoom in and out with the z and x keys so if we zoom out we can see the small town or the small neighborhood that we're in we're currently in west loop and there's another nine neighborhoods that scattered around on the map and our goal pretty much is to take over this um neighborhood and be in charge and then kind of you know run it the way that we want to run it but if you're looking on the map we can see we have a little cop we have police officers here we have unknown enterprise and unknown gangs walking around there's also these buildings and there's two different types of these buildings there's the one that's a derelict building where we can go oh let's pause the game where we can go ahead because we're losing money <laughs> we can go ahead and um attack these buildings and depending on the size of the building uh you get a difficulty uh 
modifier so like this small building here is a difficulty of one this one here is a difficulty of two and if we go oh that's a building that we can purchase as you can see we can just go here we can purchase this building and turn it into any kind of racket that we want to turn it into um so like this building here will probably have a difficulty of three and so forth and so on so we have two missions that we can currently do right now we can either go and speak with jerry and this will kind of progress the story for daniel but i think what i want to do is we need to kind of balance out our books here a little bit and playing on the boss difficulty we're going to need as much money coming in as possible so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to head over to one of these derelict buildings and go ahead and just try to control a lot of the stuff on this block so there's one derelict building here we're going to go ahead and grab that and then we'll kind of push out a little bit further if we can purchase more to grab the other ones that are around here also what i want to do is i kind of want to go to these little dots that you guys are seeing on the map here um, these little dots are thugs and these thugs are always guarding some stash so if we go we can kill the thugs and take the stash that's there and we can get some loot from this um, so actually I think we're gonna do that first instead of going to do a derelict building so let's go ahead and let's highlight all of our guys and we can right click and send them to anywhere on the map where we want to send them to so we'll run all of these guys over here and we kind of need to kind of explore out just a little bit to kind of see who's our competition in this neighborhood. So let's kind of zoom in and let's come down this alley and see if we can get an ambush off on some of these guys here. All right, so we'll hit control to do an ambush and I'll skip this. So if you played like any XCOM, you kind of know how the strategy kind of works with this. You pretty much, you move into cover with your character and you take a turn. So everyone gets a turn. We have Daniel, we have Miller, and then we have Maria here. So we have Daniel first. And just so we can show off Daniel's special boss ability, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit um, rights, right? So we're gonna hit lost rights and go ahead and take out this guy here right so you can see how powerful daniel actually is if he has a pistol a secondary pistol that actually holds more rounds he can take out a lot of people oh yeah this is actually pretty nice so we got a doctor's bag and we got a model 1895 scoped rifle so we'll go ahead and we're gonna take this loot um, we're gonna head to the gangsters tab and we're gonna go ahead and equip some weapons to some of our characters so Daniel can have this um, sniper rifle and I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this to him right off the bat so you can see there's different different stats for each of these um, characters so Daniel he has a marksmanship of 94 health of 150 and these stats will actually go up the more he kind of levels um, there's also the traits tab here where you can see the different traits that each character has so each bonus um, for Daniel and then we have our skills tab so there's a tier one skill where he has the last rights and we can actually upgrade a skill here uh what i'm gonna take i think i'm gonna take survivor so just in case if we get shot while we're doing any one of our missions he doesn't die he'll slowly start bleeding out and it will give one of our other characters some time to kind of head over and kind of pick him back up so each one of these characters has something that we can actually start learning and for mr hugh miller here we're gonna have him select draw fire so he'll draw fire to him and he'll gain a 40 percent damage resistance on all incoming damage so let's go ahead and grab that and for maria raj Riguez, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the mark target trait uh, skill not trait and what this actually does is going to take 18 days for her to get that this it places targets on the mark and reduces their defense by 25 percent and it lasts for three rounds all right then we have a little backstory here the biography for each of the characters each one of them has a backstory as you can see 
Alright. So. Ah, uh, yep. Skip it. Okay. Looks like you just got a new item. Ah, uh, yep. Get out of there. Alright. So, what we're gonna do for Daniel. We can actually equip Daniel with the model 1895 rifle here because he has a 94 marksmanship he has 65 and she has only 46 so she's like a spray type and hope that it hits right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna equip oh she can't equip it okay never mind daniel my boy you're gonna equip um the golden lewis gun that we have from storage and we're also going to equip the golden service revolver that we have here hugh is going to get the shotgun that we have or do i want to give that to maria um you know what maria can yeah her shooting is kind of bad so we're gonna give her the let's give her the shotgun and is there another pistol that we have that we can give to her nope that's it all right so everyone is kitted out with medical kits so let's head out of here all right oh well, we need to start pausing the game whenever we go into something because we will lose money all right so we have some more gang uh some more thugs that are over on this side let's head over this way and we'll see if we run into any other rival gangs in this area and then we're gonna head over and start taking out one of these derelict buildings and then go ahead and speak to jerry Need something. right nice so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of let you guys see the different abilities that these guys have i'm not gonna kill them all with uh <laughs> with daniel so daniel can go ahead and take a shot So Maria, she has a special ability where she goes into Overwatch for the first round. And if anyone moves within her circle, she automatically, let's go ahead and clear that out. She automatically goes ahead and takes them or take a shot as soon as they move. Ooh, this is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and take this pause and let's see what the different type of bullets that we have here. We have the cutter rounds. And the cutter rounds has a 15% chance of inflicting bleed. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I think we're going to go over to Maria. And we're going to switch out her uh, regular rounds that she has. And we're going to give her the cutter rounds. Alright. There we go. And we're going to switch out her pistol as well and see if this one is any better. So she currently has a pistol that does 13 to 15 damage, 14 to 16 crit damage, and a 10% crit chance. This M1911 pistol does 15 to 23 damage. So it's way better. The, crance, the chance to crit is a little bit lower, but the damage output is kind of compensating for that. Let's go ahead and equip that for her. Uh, now... We've kind of gotten the boxes that are around here. Let's go ahead and head back over to this side of town and kind of get this building. So we don't have to run around everywhere on the map. We can also travel to different places and it's kind of like a fast travel function, which is actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and head in here. Up some special ammo. Yep, skip that. And we're going to attack this building right here. All right, confirm. Oh, wait, did you just get shot? No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> that was, that was kind of weird. Uh, Daniel, my boy. So we have four guys that are inside of here. Um, Daniel gets a shoot first. All right. So we can take this guy out, but Hugh is already standing over here. And I'd prefer to take one of these guys over here to get rid of them so that they can't come over and take any shots at daniel right now so let's not do that let's go back to last rights um so we have him or we can take out this guy i think what we're gonna do we're gonna go for a 67 percent chance on hitting this thug back here come on daniel whoa wow okay some big misses right there. Hugh, I'm going to need you to kind of 
take this guy out. 90%, 95% chance. Let's go. Nice. Good hit. And now Maria. I'm actually just going to move her over here so we have 100% chance to take him out. Understood. Move over here and put her into some cover. And go ahead. 100%. Can't miss. There we go. He's dead. Beautiful. This guy's coming over to melee attack. Uh, come on, Daniel. Dodge it. Oh, dang it. Let's see. All right. This guy's moving up. And this guy's going to move around to try and get a better shot. All right. So now Daniel has this guy here, which is actually pretty good because these two should be in pistol range where Daniel can go ahead and take all of these guys out. Here we go. Perfect. He's dead. And now we only have to worry about this guy back here, which if he wants to take a shot at Daniel, he ha actually has to move around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move Hugh to a spot where actually I'm going to leave Hugh right here. Nope, he can't hit. And what? Oh, 15%. Oh, oh nope. Yeah, we're going to set. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, let's set an overwatch shot right here. And Maria, you're not able. What's your percent? 19. That is so horrible. Let's set an overwatch here as well. Let's see if this guy moves up. Yep, perfect. Oh, awesome. There we go. That should be it. Awesome. So we get uh, recovered loot after every victory that we do. And we also get some money from the thugs, which is kind of filling up our little bank account here. Kind of hopefully to offset the weekly expenses that we have. So we can take the loot. And now we have a chance of either, not a chance. We have the option to take over this racket we can ransack it and basically take some loot from here or we can smash this building up um what i think we're gonna do we have a plus for all of our for the alcohol that we're actually producing so we're gonna say take over so we get the chance of switching this building into either a brewery a speakeasy a brothel or a casino Playing as a Daniel, Daniel has the option to get bonuses from casinos. So we'll get more income from the casino. But the casino, as you guys can see, we have pros and we have cons. So the pros is it has a high potential for high earnings with little upkeep. But the con is big wins can be destabilizing, which means if someone wins big in the casino, we're going to lose a lot of money. And with the money that we have right now, we have a plus of alcohol being produced. So with the speakeasy, we have pros. We get a decent amount of earnings. And the only downside is that gangsters can become drunk if they're left inside the speakeasies for too long. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say speakeasy. 2000 and the empty glass perfect name if you guys want to be named after a building or a character inside for this series just go ahead and drop a name in the comment section and just let me know what you want your name to be placed as or give me some name suggestions for the buildings that we're going to be taking over so let's go ahead and hit okay so this is going to bring in or reduce also reduce our um negative income that we have and it takes two alcohol as you guys can see so let's go ahead and let's head out of here all right next up daniel took some damage in the last um battle so as you can see over time he actually does kind of heal up to kind of negate the fact that he did take some damage um what i want to do i do want to go out and hit some more of these racket buildings here and kind of just take these two buildings over um i really really need to kind of hit a net positive so let's go ahead and let's do one more building on this side all right let's kind of zoom in and watch them run around on the streets there we go derelict building let's confirm let's head in here and do another battle all right oh perfect nice nice that was actually pretty good so now we're down to three people yes three people inside of here all right so daniel is right here with this guy right in front of him we can just go ahead and take him out we have a 78 percent chance to kill him outright which i'm going to take there we go that guy is a down 
So now Hugh has a 45% chance to hit this guy over here. I have a feeling that this guy is going to move and try to come over here to get a shot off on Maria a little bit better. Because right now she's in full cover. Um, I don't... Actually, you know what? Hold on. If I was to move Hugh... Yeah, moving him... What's the chance to hit again? 45. You know what? We're going to move Hugh over here. Okay. Hopefully, he's moving in half cover. Hopefully, we... Oh, that barely can't hit him. Could have had a chance to knock him out of cover. So let's go ahead. Let's take this 55%. Boom. Perfect. Nice hit. Nice hit. Now, Maria has a shot on this guy. But we could move her to this section here. Currently, it's only 69%. So we're going to move her over into full cover here. We'll also get a flanking shot on him. So let's go ahead and take a 79% chance. Here we go. Come on. Hit. Boom. Perfect. All right. So there's one guy left. He's moving up. All right. So now he has a chance to hit Daniel. Um, we're just going to finish him off. Daniel, go ahead. Ooh. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right. Nice. So we got $580 for that. No loot this time, but that's fine. Let's take over this building. And we're going to say take over. And I'm going to put this as another speakeasy. We still have a positive net income for the alcohol. So let's go ahead and grab this. Slow Elixir. Perfect name. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. And we'll move on to another building. So we're only losing $33 a week, which isn't bad. That is not bad. We should be able to offset that. We still have a decent amount of alcohol. So if we take over one more building, another derelict building, we should be able to actually start pulling in some more money. So let's go ahead and head over to this building here. And we'll still have ooh, 42. That's not good. Let's move over here. 42. That's still that's still pretty good. It's, it's not bad. It is not bad. Yep. And it goes back and forth. So haven't ran into any other characters yet. Uh, let's confirm this. All right. Good shot. He didn't die, which kind of sucks. Daniel moves here. There are four people inside here as well. Yes. All right. Hmm. 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 I can move Daniel up here. Oh, no. Because if I do that, then he's going to have a flanking shot. If I move Daniel here, Daniel doesn't have a shot on anyone. Um, if I move him here, he has a 72% chance to hit this guy in the back, which isn't bad. I would have to worry about this guy here, but that should be fine. So let's move up here. I'm not going to worry about this guy. We have these two that can actually take him out. Um, oh, no. Shoot. I just realized this. Um, Daniel is flanking this guy back here, right? You know what? I'm going to set up an overwatch. Hopefully, we have some guys that move. Uh, Hugh, right now, if I move Hugh here, he has a 65% chance to hit. Currently, he has 95% chance to kill this guy. Let's go ahead and, you know what? I'm going to move Hugh up here. I appreciate you. Just to put him in cover, just in case if this guy has a shot. Let's go ahead and take the 85. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now Daniel is the only one that's getting flanked. That is not good. Oh man, that's not good. So we have Miss um, Rodriguez here. If we move her up, we can move her here. That's half cover. We can move her here. She'll have a 29% chance to hit this guy, but I think that's going to be a flanking shot. So we're going to move Maria over here into full cover. And then who's moving next? Next is going to be this guy at the back. And I'm going to say, you know what? Just so we can kind of protect our guys, we're going to set another Overwatch down in this area. There we go. 
Perfect. He moved. Take him out, Daniel. There we go. Nice. Now, this guy's... Oh, we probably should have set the Overwatch to the other side. All right, nice. He whiffed it. There we go. Coming up for a melee. There we go, Maria. Beautiful. And we got that 15% chance for bleeding. That is awesome. Nice, 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 nice. All right. So, these guys missed. Daniel now has the opportunity. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. We only have these two guys. Um, You know what? I'll just let Daniel take these guys out. Perfect. That's it. Easy as that. Alright, so we got another $506 here. Let's go ahead and we're going to take this over. And you know it. We're going to put it into a speakeasy. We're not going to get a brothel. Yeah, we're not going to get a brothel. We're going to get another speakeasy. So we kind of limit the amount of alcohol that we're actually pulling in. Here we go. Spend another $2,000 on that. The Shamrock. Oh, that's a nice name. I actually like that name. The Shamrock. There we go. So... Minus 67. What? How did our expenses just go up? Oh, we got the brick by brick too. So we now... Awesome. Our reputation went up. We got a mission reward of $100. For some reason, we should have... All right, let's wait until the new week kind of ticks over. Oop, exit. All right. All right. Uh, stranger hands you a note. Heard about you trying to get your foot in the door. Well, listen up. Them lousy BOI punks are gonna be busting in doors at the end of the month at the Hoot Owl. Okay, is our list. I can help you, but you gotta do something for me. I got a guy giving me trouble in the neighborhood. Goes by the name of Eddie Calhoun. Might be time someone took old Eddie out to the pastures. Eh? You take care of Eddie, and I'll take care of you. You got it? interesting all right so we just got another mission let's go ahead and pause this really quickly so let's actually see where this mission is for this guy so we have to talk to jerry let's head over to the mission journal oh wow we have a bunch of other missions over here <laughs> all right so just a deflector so we have to take care of eddie this we can track this mission moving on up um we gotta promote someone to an advisor and we need a hundred notoriety to be able to do that so that's going to be a little while off paving the way we have to hold 10 rackets all right that's going to take a little bit too and money talks reach one thousand dollars in gross weekly income okay that's going to take a little bit as well these will just happen as we do stuff the do your part is a story mission and taking care of eddie is also we're going to do that one first and then i promise we're going to head over and do this one story mission over here so where is Eddie at the moment? So Eddie is inside this uh, speakeasy over here. Let's head over to this side and we'll just fast travel here and then head in. Eddie. Understood. All right, there's Eddie right there. Let's go ahead and speak. Oh, yep, there we go. Let's talk to Eddie real quick. Uh -huh. All right, Eddie. Yeah. What are you looking at? Ah, uh, sorry, Eddie. I got to put you down. Someone wants you dead. You know that? Why? I ain't done nothing. Please, I'll pay you. I got money. If you look the other way and let me run, then I'll give you $2,000. What do you say, buddy? Uh, no hard feelings. We're going to have to take you out, Eddie. No hard feelings, Eddie. Oh, wow. Eddie's a lot stronger than I remember. Um, yeah. Last rights. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we got $263 for doing that. Let's take the loot. And, oh, we just scared all of our customers. Oh, as you guys can see up here, we're now making a positive. A net positive because of all the speakeasies that we just took over. So now we have money coming in. Um, the brewery, we're losing on the brewery and we're losing 600 from our crew, but we're pulling in a positive of $149 with the 759 from the speak easies. Let's go ahead. Let's exit out of here. Return to the stranger really quick. Oh, here he is. Oh, Hugh Miller has learned a new skill. All right, so now we get to pick a new skill that we can use for him. So we took the draw fire. So now I think we have to pick from these three from the tier twos. So we have the bulwark, 
which reduces all income and damage by 10% while in cover, but increases it by 10% while not in not, while not in cover. So what we can do is if we do the draw fire and then we do the um the bulwark yeah even if we're not in cover we're still getting like 30 percent reduction and if we are in cover it boosts our draw fire so we're 50 percent damage reduction here um we could get the rifle training which kind of gives him the option to use rifles which I think would be nice because he does have 65% marksmanship and that kind of gives us a little bit of range and diversity with this so I'm gonna go with this one instead all right so let's exit out of here and here's a stranger that we got to talk to hey buddy all right say mister you seen Eddie Calhoun around I got a package for him Eddie's dead friend <laughs> that's so can't say he'll be missed in that case why don't you take this eddie ain't gonna be needing it sure thanks or what is it see for yourself just make the deliveries fine thanks and say you own the hoot owl yeah you seen it lately it's been looking pretty sharp i hear it's gotten real discreet <laughs> thanks i'll check it out all right so we've completed the mission and we got the packages from eddie Oh, nice. We got a vest. We got a, a pocket watch and we got one notoriety and our deflect went all the way up to five. Wow. That's actually pretty good. If we come over here to all right, let's go ahead and do that. So this is the Empire overview. It shows all the rackets that we currently own and all the ones that are unknown in this neighborhood right now. It also shows a overview. So the neighborhood isn't owned by anyone. The prosperity is mediocre. The people prefer top shelf um, alcohol. 10% uh, of the rackets are owned by me. And then we have 27% of the earnings I'm getting. Uh, for the customers, we are only pulling in 200 out of the 1000 that's here so we're putting putting in like almost 20 percent of this as we go through and we get different bonuses for having multiple different rackets so as you can see here we have three of a kind so we're getting plus five income for our rackets which is all the speakeasies that we have all right if we put a hotel in we'll actually get another bonus in here as well but as we go down the line you can see we have a straight which we get 10 percent we have a full house so we get another 7.5 percent and we have five of a kind we get 12 percent and two pairs we get plus 2.5 percent all right so that's the synergies that we can get from here the security we have 23 percent security deflect is 20 percent and the suspicion is very very low we only have seven percent suspicion and the status yeah, shows how dangerous the neighborhood is it's kind of risky right now i kind of don't know how to bring this down oh, more deaths make a neighborhood more dangerous oh okay so we gotta try our best to kind of bring the the status down and kind of just make sure that we're the only ones that is actually in this neighborhood all right so right now all of our speakeasies are actually doing pretty good everything is full and we're bringing in a decent amount of money um adjacency sort by adjacency bonus Ooh, actually look at that all right so where is the hoot owl the hoot owl is right here if we go to this speakeasy and actually look at all the upgrades we have level two security upgrades and we have the deflect has been upgraded from that mission that we did to five that is awesome so we have a plus 25 percent chance to reflect all the raids on this building all right so we probably actually this bar is actually doing pretty good so we don't need to upgrade anything right now we only have 4700 in our pockets i'll leave this for now we don't want to kind of go bankrupt so let's jump out of here yeah all right so now lastly we're gonna go ahead and we are going to speak with jerry so let's track this mission next all right jerry where you at my friend all right jerry is all the way over here instead of running we're just gonna click on this building and just travel to all right guys here we go let's go speak with jerry you picked up some body armor. oh yeah i forgot about that 
All right, we also got some body armor for from doing that mission. So the game's pause. If we come here, we can put the body armor on um, Daniel here. So let's go ahead and actually do that. Give him a little bit more armor so he has a little bit more survivability. We also got the pocket watch. So his initiative in the pocket watch, I think it gives you plus 20 initiative and plus three movements. All right. So his initiative is 32. His movement is five. Her initiative is 31 and her movement is five. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. But you know what? I'm going to give her the pocket watch. Increase her initiative and her movement so she can move a lot further. All right. And that looks good. Let's go talk to Jerry over here. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, Maria has learned a skill. Let's see. Okay, so we could give her machine gun training. Or we can give her guile. Which guile makes all attacks made against flanked or exposed characters gain an additional 20% crit chance. That is actually pretty powerful. So I'm going to go and get guile for Maria. Alright. There we go. Likewise. Oh wait. So, oh, Mr. Jackson, it's good to see you again. Likewise, Jerry. How's your family? We're fine. Thanks, Daniel. About the money I owe you for Julia's operation. I just need a little more time. Things have been tough lately. I won't rush you on it, Jerry. Thanks, Daniel. How are things with you? I trust the Finner Parlor is prospering. There's no short shortage of business, if that's what you mean. <laughs> but here, we have something to discuss, Jerry. Of course, what's on your mind? I hear you're thinking about talking to the papers about Bill Thompson. Of course I am. I've got a contact in the, his organization that says they'll spill the beans on his dirty money. Did you know he took money from the schools to pay for his yachts? Out of my daughter's school, mind you. Uh, so we can either go the persuasion route or we can go the intimidation route. You know, I'm going to say intimidation. I implore you to drop this for your family's sake. And all right, so we got a success on that. So we increase our intimidation skill by one. You, you've known Julia since she was a baby. What's gotten into you? The Daniel I know would never threaten a man's family. You're not leaving me with many options, Jerry. Fine. Look, I need I don't need any problems between you. You're my best friend, my last friend in the city. But, you know, I wish you would get away from that asshole, Thompson. You're better than him. You're entitled to your own opinion, Jerry. Just stay out of Thompson way and we won't have any problems. Um Yeah. <laughs> Let's go that route. Alright. So we took care of uh Jerry. So now we need to head, call Bill to let him know that you talked to Jerry. All right, so where do we have to go? I think we have to head back to the safe house. Yep, so let's go ahead and let's just travel over here instead of running. And let's head inside here. Let's call Bill and let him know Jerry won't be a, tr Jerry won't be a bother anymore. All right, let's head into our little office. We need to call Bill. Okay. Bill Thompson speaking. Bill, it's Daniel McJa McKee Jackson. I've handled your problem. I'm glad to hear of it. About my committee men seat. I promise we'll discuss it, friend. Sure, Bill. All right, there we go. So we got this mission completed. We have one notoriety kicking up here. That's going to boost us up to 54. So close enough to almost to get to 100. We'll be able to get this thing all done. All right. So the Brewer of Prohibition has shut down engine repair shop. Your alcohol production will slow down significantly. Oh, wow. That is actually pretty bad. Wow. Okay, so we only have six alcohol in stock. Yeah, minus six. Okay. 
If anyone can get your racket back, it'll be Bill Thompson. Okay, I, we need to talk to Bill. Bill, where you at? Oh, he came right here. All right, let's see, where, where, where are you going, Bill? Let's go talk to Bill. All right, Jackson, great to see you. How have you been? Um, fine, why do you want to see me? I wanted to talk to you taking care of Mr. Jackson, but unfortunately I also have some news and wanted to tell you as soon as I could. I'm sorry, Daniel. The Brewer of Prohibition have taken Eagle, <laughs> have taken injured repair shop. I know, Bill, that's why I wanted to talk to you. Or can you help me get it back? Of course I can. The thing is, I've spoken to them already and they'll want a sizable sum to release it back to you. What? More than the place is worth. I'm, if I'm being honest, they want $35,000? What? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of money, Bill. I'll tell them where they can stick their $35,000. Hold on, Daniel. Now, they want $35,000 to release the engine repair shop back to you. But you don't have to pay them out of pocket. What do you mean? I'm listening. Between you and I, there's a casino named Paradise Slots nearby with the close to 50000 in the safe. Get to that safe, get the cash out, and bring it back here. We'll split the remainder. Uh, like hell we will. Oh yeah, we got that as well. Fine, fine. Take the money. I suppose you've earned it. Come back when you've cleaned out the safe. Sure, Bill. So, I think this is a good spot to kind of call this an episode here. Um, at the start of the next episode, we'll head over to the Paradise Slots and kind of try to find a way to kind of clean out the money out of the safe. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that with no problems. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And also, hit that notification bell to get notified of when new contents get posted to the channel. And until next time, everyone, big up on yourself.